everybody, it's Wallguy. Uh, as you know, we started getting back into Battlefield 3 a few weeks ago. Uh, really, to be more precise, we got into it for the first time. And it's been a great experience so far. We really wish we had started sooner. <laughs> we feel like we missed out on most of the game's story or its journey, so to speak. Uh, since we only followed it very loosely uh, after the launch period. It's definitely the first online FPS that we've come in so late after launch and tried to play it full time. Uh, there was Medal of Honor 2010, which we didn't start playing regularly until four or five months after launch. Uh, but this is a whole other level, obviously, being that it's been out for almost two years now. In fact, Battlefield 4 is right around the corner, so yeah, it's definitely fair to say that we're late to the party. That, of course, makes everything a lot more challenging for us. Because uh, with Battlefield 3, you have a lot of people that have put in many hundreds or even thousands of hours just mastering the game. Uh, they've followed the game from launch until its current state, and they've seen its whole evolution. So that does give people an advantage over us when it comes to the ins and outs of how the games work. So we're playing catch-up. In the game you're watching, I again go for 90 plus kills. Uh, but this time I do it a lot faster than the previous time. This is a 500 ticket server as opposed to the 650 I did it in in the other video. So whereas I'm nowhere near great at this game yet, I do feel like I'm making good progress. So hopefully you enjoy watching it while I talk to you. Uh, I have a cool announcement to make today, which I hope you guys are excited for, but first I wanted to say that we've really appreciated how strongly you've supported our Battlefield 3 coverage to this date. Uh, when we started this coverage, we didn't really know if it would be popular. Uh, we've done a lot of Medal of Honor footage in the past, and uh, we didn't know if you wanted to watch Battlefield 3. But it turns out that you guys are fans of Battlefield 3, or at least us playing Battlefield 3. Um, a lot of you seem to play Battlefield 3 yourself. Uh, in some cases, perhaps more than Medal of Honor Warfighter, or you started with some Medal of Honor and after you got your feel you moved on to some Battlefields. So we got back into Battlefield 3 because we wanted to and we were going to do it either way. But it's really nice knowing that uh, you guys are going to enjoy watching the footage that makes us even more happy to bring it to you. When we kicked off our regular Battlefield 3 coverage a few weeks ago, I asked you guys for 60 likes. <laughs> that was really child's play for you. Um, not only did you give us 60 likes, but you destroyed our all-time record in a big way. And for the first time, we were able to pass 100 likes in a single video. That's a big milestone for us, and we definitely want to thank you guys so much for that, and we'll do our best to continue to uh, put out quality content and repay you for your support. With that said, let's see if we can reach 60 likes again with this video. Go ahead and tap that like button with a thunderous fury that she won't soon forget. <laughs> Alright, so back to that announcement I spoke of. In our time on YouTube, we often get the chance to play with some of you. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. We've had some good times. Uh, but I want to make it even more fun. Uh, would it not be better if we could talk to each other while we play? Uh, Meowth and I think so. So we're inviting all of you, our subscribers, to come talk with us on Skype. Uh, so now we'll be, we'll be able to play together on Warfighter or Battlefield 3 or whatever and hang out while we play. Let me kind of draw an outline of how this is uh, going to work. Um, sometimes, like right now, uh, you'll have to understand that we're very time limited. Uh, we can have trouble finding the time to even get the footage we need for our uploads. So we won't necessarily be available all the time, but when we have more time and we get a little bit ahead in our footage, uh, we'd like to hang out with you guys while we play. So here's what you need to do. Uh, send a contact request to wallguyr6 and also meowthr6 on Skype. Make sure that you attach a message letting us know your YouTube and in-game names so we know who you are. If you don't send us a an extra message detailing those things, then we'll just delete the message. Uh, we'd really like to know who you are so we, we know who we're talking to and we can verify that you're not some spam bot just trying to get in our contact list. So for example, uh, you send us a request and the attached message would say if your YouTube username is 
say King Salmon, you put that in there and let us know. And if you have a different in-game name, you would say uh, my in-game name is Butterknife or whatever. That way I would know who you are on YouTube and in-game when I play with you. And I could make, make a note of that and it'd be easier to remember who you are. Of course, you can still contact us in the usual ways, like on Twitter or Origin or YouTube, you know, whatever. But you also now have Skype and a chance to maybe, you know, talk with us while we play, get on our team and have a little bit of fun. Um, if you see us on Skype, feel free to join uh, our call or call us, and we'll bring you in as soon as we can. Uh, but if we're not online, you can still leave us a message for when we are free to chat. Uh, a note I wanted to make though is if we're online in the game uh, but not on Skype that means we're likely recording commentary and we won't be available to talk uh, so in those cases just let us do our work uh, you can still come and play with us uh, we just won't be able to talk at the time uh, as I said earlier we are uh, often time limited we're not on or available frequently uh, especially right now so it can be kind of hard to you know, figure out when the best time it is to play with us or expect to be able to come on and chat with us. So I do recommend highly that you follow us on Twitter so we can uh, announce ahead of time when we're going to be on plane and then you can come on and hang out. We have a couple more minutes left so I figured I'd talk a little bit more about the experience we've had so far playing Battlefield 3. Uh, as I mentioned it's been a really good experience so far we've really enjoyed ourselves. We are, of course, disappointed that we haven't gotten to play the game more. Uh, we started playing it regularly a few weeks ago, but <laughs> as time limited as we've been, that regularly has only amounted to maybe eight to ten hours for me and five to seven hours for me out. So, in three weeks' time, that's really not very much. It's hard to make uh, significant progress in our skill development when that's all we get to play. But we're still enjoying ourselves, and to this point we've been able to kind of get our controls settled in. Uh, we might have a couple more tweaks there as time goes on, and we figure out what needs to be used more often and what's comfortable. Uh, but, yeah, we do finally have our controls set up for the most part. And we played on a lot of the maps and modes that the game has to offer. Uh, not all of them yet. <laughs> there are, I don't know, what are there, 27, 28 maps or something? So it's going to take a while to get around to them all, and especially to try all the different mode variations. But what we've seen so far has been a lot of fun. So we're definitely keen to keep playing and covering the game here. And we'll be there day one with Battlefield 4. Uh, first with the beta, and then after that with the full game. And we hope you stick around for the fun. If you're not already a subscriber, do it! Do it now! And before I go, I wanted to say hey to Legit Toaster, who played with me, uh, not in the game you're watching, but uh, the one before. Uh, it was cool to see you on there. I did, in fact, notice you. That's it for today. Uh, don't forget to get that Skype contact request sent in with the message telling me your YouTube and in-game names, and we'll get that set up. And as you see here, I finished uh, 94 kills. Not too shabby.